Hello to everyone, this is Good Guy Palps, and welcome to Let's Play Humankind, the Victor Hugo Open Dev. And we're on turn 31. We are the Harappans. And we're going ahead and cruising. So we sold uh, some marble, was purchased by the Mycenaeans. Okay, cool. So we should be getting some income from that. In fact, we're getting 23 gold per turn now, which is really good. We've been wanting a war with the Assyrians. We have our troops here that are kind of ready to go, as well as some troops up here. We're peaceful with the Mycenaeans. Main city here, looking to uh, attach it into this as well as purchase, or create a city here, I mean. The question is, do we wanna bring one of these units over this direction and potentially settle it? We are getting a decent amount more um, influence per turn now. So it is a little bit tempting. Off we go. We're gonna have one go start to scout a little further this direction. They shouldn't be able to retreat this time. It's about as good as the deployment can be. This range, I believe, is three, so they can shoot. Let's see what they decide to do. All right, so they are attacking into our melee units. Very nice. It's a nice battle. Now that has, so we've won the battle and the support for war has increased so, up to 71. And we can't, unfortunately we can't make any demands. We could do a surprise war, but we will get a war support penalty, which is unfortunate. They are kind of trapped up here though, so maybe, we, maybe we're okay with that. We are gonna to wanna to come settle this, I think. So maybe we uh, kind of abandon the war effort unless we, until we grow later maybe, and we'll come over here and maybe settle this. We'll leave these troops here at least for now to defend, since this is kind of the, really the only way they can access us. They could come this way, I guess, but this was the main way they've been coming in. This should complete the artisan's quarter. We've gained population. We got a builder star, very nice. We're up to two stars for the ancient era. Welcome. You have news. Uh, they have made a demand. We're going to refuse the demands. Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would tarnish my glorious so name. So they have decided to not go to war, even though they could have over those demands. Right. Gonna have this archer come up this way and have the. Uh, the runner be the one to go make an encampment if we decide to claim this territory. With that, we can now attach this. Uh, this is also, I think it just completed the artisan's quarter. So I think we wanna attach this now. It's gonna cost 30 and then we'll save up to turn this into a city. We now have this brought in. We have a lot more production and stuff. Um, so in the previous betas, you could build right off at these improvements, which is really nice, but it doesn't look like you can do that now, which is unfortunate. Um, but I think we're going to want to build an artisan's quarter. And we, oh, so we can build another canal network. I wonder if that's because we've now, I think it's one per region. That makes sense. So if we said to do this, could we, oh, we, ha we have to attach it over here. Okay, cool. None of these tiles are very good, though, for it. Maybe if we built one of these and then built one off of it, it'd be better. I'm not sure. It's not the best area really for this, this district, to be honest. 
We'll keep an eye on him. How to move in there? We'll go ahead and end our turn. So here's they have brought some units in. It's just they're trying to go scout out some more. All right, so ooh, do they have this territory? Is this owned by them or is this a different? These here, oh, so they've claimed this. Interesting. And this has been claimed as well. So all of this territory has been claimed. That is unfortunate. We've, we've kind of carved out this little central chunk. We're going to want to claim this as quickly as possible. I kind of I, I like it though. The AI has been a bit more aggressive. I can see war becoming much more of an important thing to do. Let's make sure. So we'll have the, we'll have this artisan's quarter relatively soon. I believe it's getting built there, and then we'll probably start working on getting the city. But we need 160 influence here. Uh, we did complete the artisan's quarter. We can't do another one. Unfortunately, this copper is not in our our area. A harbor here could be good though, eventually. We're growing very quickly, which is really, really nice. I wonder if this improves housing. Doesn't look like it does. Cool. We're definitely going to want to uh, grab this. Let's go for domestication now, so we can improve the horses that we will put. Uh, we'll probably put a city here. I'm envisioning maybe a city here that controls this area as well. If we can claim both. 19 and 4. That's pretty solid, to be honest. I think we do want to do that. I know it's going to delay the, the other city, but since this territory is kind of contested, I'm going to claim it before the Olmecs do. We're going to want to claim these territories as quickly as possible. We'll do the cities later. You just do like a long-term station. That's what I want to do. All right, urgent affairs. Keepers of the Creed. An unexpected rivalry has erupted between two temples in Harappa, each representing a different sect of Harappan's shamanism. One temple argues that religious matters should be left in the hands of dispassionate men, while the other contends that only women with their, cap with their capacity for nurturing life possess the, necess the necessary understanding for these affairs. These quarrels must stop before your inhabitants start fighting each other. Who should be your religious leaders? So if we choose men... We, um, we're going to go towards tradition. If we choose women, we're also going to go towards tradition. And if we choose all, we're going to go towards progress. I, I think that kind of makes the most sense. We were, we're going to want to go towards progress. Now, okay, so they now feel differently about us. Interesting. The thug becomes a monster. Hate filled. So, so, so a war is probably inevitable between us and the Assyrians, which is great. We want a war between them. Maybe not quite yet, but in general we do. We're going to want to conquer their territories. Um, now, we also kind of want friends. We might want to become... Come, relax. Let us speak honestly. They're a little hesitant. We could do open borders, we could share maps, or trade everything. I think that's kind of what you want to start with next. Okay, so that's, we've got a deal there. How Here's do our, you do? our other Whoever neighbors. You are. <laughs> How do you do? Uh, let's go to trade. They only have marble, we have quite a bit. Things change, even leaders and empires. We're gonna accept that. I have a proposal for you. To try and, they're aggressive, so we're gonna wanna try and stay on their good side for a bit so that we can focus on the Assyrians if we go to war here. 
Now, getting the stone rings is tempting. It'll really help our stability. However, we have a lot of these we need to get, and we of course want production. Plus seven. Minus 10 stability, that was pretty atrocious. We're eating decent food still. We could move these around to start focusing on other things as well. I think we want to grab this real fast. Okay, the progress of the game feels significantly better, which is great. What's this little icon? So you, so I kind of wish, it, yeah, we acknowledge that. We've agreed with everything. So I don't, I don't see what the, uh, what that icon was about, but six turns to create that, or it's gonna take six turns, but we can move him away now, I believe. So a very defended, like well defended location as well. I'll, this will tell. Let's see if this goes down to five. Okay, it does. So we can take. We can make the unit leave. We got domestication. Very nice. Got a scientific star. Awesome. What do you want now? Little hesitant. Let's see if we can trade everything with them. They signed our treaty. Nice. Let's get up here and see if we can claim this next territory quickly. 100 influence. We'll get that in a few turns. That's not bad. Probably going to want to put it somewhere here near the forest, maybe river. Or even near the lake, potentially. We'll see. With that in mind, let's grab city defense. We're gonna, with war and looming, we're gonna want better defenses up. All right, tenants. We can also name our religion, which we might wanna do. Uh, Harpens are the religious leaders, uh, 19 out of 16, very nice. So we, what do we wanna focus on? Purge idleness, plus 10 food on holy sites, and we can get another holy site, which we need to do. Plus five money on territories under a religious a religion's influence. Okay, so we get some more money. Plus five science under religion influence. Plus ten industry on holy sites. That's that's pretty solid to be honest. Ten science on holy sites. Ten money on holy sites. Plus ten civilian territories under religious influence. Okay. I kind of want to go production. We've been focusing on growth, but our growth is good. I kind of want to go for, to this. We're going to choose that. We're going to leave the screen. I think there's supposed to be a religious view somewhere. Here we can rename it. Okay. Happened to shamanism. Interesting. The Empire. Since, you know, good guy pops and all. Perfect. I think after we get the uh, the production on our on our lumber here, which I'm tempted to buy this out. Let's do it. We're gonna increase our, our industry up to 57, and then we can create stone rings. Now we can put this anywhere. We can get 20 faith and 20 stability. I don't know if we can build off it. In, previous, in the previous beta, when you built it, you could build districts off of it immediately. You didn't have to build off your little capital area. You can put it anywhere. Where would we want to build off of it? Maybe somewhere over here, but I don't know if we can build off it since we can't build off of these anymore. So I'm starting to think we might not be able to. Um, we could put some farms right off of this though. Plus this looks really cool. I'm gonna put it there for eight turns. You can't buy it out unless you use, I think population to do so, which I don't think is worth it. We're in an agrarian star, very nice. We're cruising through this era now. We have a lot of fame, by the way. In fact, if we look at, who, I don't know Sir, how you see the rankings. They have 295. You have something to say. They have a 635. Okay, so they have a lot of fame. 
they don't have much. And they have like nothing. So that's interesting. Next turn we can put a, uh, a garrison there. Population, beautiful. We'll claim this and then we really do need to turn one of these into get a, another city. We gotta get another city down. Seven turns. I don't think we can have, since these aren't cities, we can't work on the, uh, the holy site, unfortunately. A schism in the heart. Followers of the empire's religion continue to grow, but within the temples and holy places, tensions brew. Sadly, the blossoming inter interpretations of religious tenets is leading to sh sh schisms as worshippers place more or less import on different rules. It speaks to a wider question of how other entire religions should be seen. Is religious harmony something to aspire to or a question that shouldn't even be raised? We don't have any civic points, but we can go look into religious tolerance. We can either take open-minded, we get plus five influence on territories under a religion's influence if territories follow state religion. Hostility, plus five faith on territories under a religion's influence unlocks action heresy. How cool, and then you can uh, get grievances against people. One's probably better if you're gearing towards war, the other towards like a peaceful game, I would think. With city defense, that is great. We could even get more... Um, Hittites are buying salt from the, the Mycenaeans feel different. People of Kang converted to the Empire. Where's Kang? Ah, here. Right, they were over here. Interesting. Now, so right now we have 18 and we grow in another four turns. If we were to put in something like Economic exports, right? We go up to 65. That would put us in eight turns, which is a little slower. I'd rather continue to grow to get towards our mass, ha our max housing, which I think is 14 in the city. Yeah, so we're gonna stay balanced. If we said city growth, we grow one turn faster. And actually, this is actually not bad though, because we get a little bit more production. I think we'll do this for a little bit. All right, and we can now put this in. Oh, so this is 10, 10, 13, 10, 4, 12, 5, 14. 10, 10 right here is also really good. Now this is a bit more like better defended. Right, it's way up here in the hills. However, this is gonna be near wood, woods, rivers, like this is a bit, I guess yeah, it's forward though. Yeah, maybe we do want this up here. We can build kind of right down here really quickly. I think we want to go towards fishing. We can get a harbor. Or actually, you know what? Let's go bronze working so that we can improve the copper. And stoneworks is really good. We improve our industry on mountains and stuff. Let's go towards improving the copper first, though. Okay, so we have this. No, the salt was purchased by the Hittites again. We have Assyrians coming in. Now they are getting their military, which is going to be quite strong. They have a We've deep treaty. Shall we try forward? We're going to accept this will be that. A for all We're also going to propose to share maps, Hail friend. which I they have a refuse, which, would... which is weird. They're suspicious of us. Tell me what is on your mind. Got a non-aggression pact with both neighbors. Now with, with them creating more troops, we might want to pivot and create some more units, like some warriors. Beautiful, we're gonna get this in three turns and we'll claim this territory.
violence trade route blocked to the Mycenaeans. Interesting. And this just must mean that we have notifications regarding them. I think that's what it means. So maybe that's these 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 enemy units here. That's my guess. But we're not at war. We must be at war. What can I do for you? No, I cannot agree to this anemic proposal. I can see this demand is beyond you. It is withdrawn. So we're not at war. We're still at peace, but they are in our territory. You think they would have to be? We'd have to be at war for that. There's a lot of things I want. I'm tempted to spend some gold. We don't have enough to buy them, so we'll continue to work on that for a turn. They are coming straight to our city, it looks like, almost. We're going to purchase that out, and then we'll continue to work on stone rings. I'm going to make sure we have some units in the capital. That was wild. Teleporting our screen over here. Let's grab this little curiosity here, giving us... Um, one of your armies found in Lorraine's curiosity. Great. I don't know what it actually got from it, but uh, gain population. We got that. Perfect. I'm on it. You pay. We want to make sure we don't lose anything like this. How much do we need to turn this into a city? 160 still, so we'll get that in just a few turns. We're flying through population, which is nice. We're almost to the next era. And we're going to need to decide what we want to focus on. Right? Do we want to focus on military and expansion to, to kind of conquer the Assyrians? Maybe a militarist would be fun. Could go builders or coastal and start building a lot of harbors. A lot of things we could do. I'm just going to sand turn again, try and get this thing completed. Just one more time. Boom. There's our awesome holy site. I just forgave a grievance. Stole my natural wonder. Oh, that's funny. I don't know what natural wonder they're talking about, but... Uh, let's work on this. Tempted to buy that out, to be honest, to get horses online. We can build another holy site. Let's first see, can we build off of this? Nope, you can't. So I'm glad we didn't put it over here. Now that would give us a significant amount of stability. I think we're gonna wanna wait to build it in our next city. And we can use this city to help. I, I'm tempted to still build one of these, but th uh, the yields just aren't phenomenal from it. Now it would be better maybe if we put this like right here or right here. And then we could build one off of it. We do need a lot of these as well, though. This would be good for our farmer's quarters. This would be great for the river we have just right here that we're working. Flooded lands. Okay, so we can either gamble, we can adapt, or we can protect for 120 gold. Um, we can sure, and we have a chance of good consequences. I think we're going to take that. We're back to positive gold, so it, you know we weren't in the negative for too long. We now now we will get our civic vote, vote again. How we do they feel towards us? They're times. needy. Yikes. That time is now. The world is full of well, news. No, why would we? Why would we? Yeah, that's dumb. Oh, they already got their copper online. Good for them. Um, yeah, they did refuse, which was kind of unexpected. You have something to say? Two hundred forty gold. We'll have to refuse that. So 
so I might want to go here. Your empire is an enigma. Can't trade for another couple turns. Oh, their war support is growing. We might want to go militarist in the next era. The war support is... Why is it so high? And we're going to refuse our demands. No, I cannot agree to this anemic proposal. Where's Mimosa? Up here? Not even close to them. Wild. All right, so we have uh, enough followers to connect a new tenant. Okay, great. We have 33 followers. It's because our city grew so much. Now we could go plus one industry per state religion follower on capital. Whoa, that's actually really good because our capital has maybe 10-ish people, right? 11, so we can get 11 production there. Plus an influence on holy sites. That would be great to get our cities, our a couple of cities done quickly. In fact, hey, we can do that right now. It'll take seven turns, but hey, we'll get this into a city, which will attach this. And we're going to turn, I think, this into a city. Ah, I don't know. Either one of these could be a pretty good city. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that, which one of these we want to become a city. But we, these will be attached to each other, I think. And then here, we're doing the city creation. Now we need to pick our tenant. Plus five stability per state religion follower on capital. Oh, that would give us significant stability. Not to mention some faith. And we would be able to get a lot more districts out. That's tempting. Yeah, plus five stability per state religion follower. I, I kind of want to try that. Because then we can just get a ton more districts. Like, we should be very, very... Yeah, yeah, we saw that. Like a very, very stable. Yeah, we're shooting up to 100%. That's great. Let's... We now have a civic point. Let's look at the civics. So we can look at legitimacy. Customary laws apply celebrating. We get more stability. Oh, well, that would have been... Absorb city cost by 20. Attach outpost by 20. Neither of those are great now. Religious influence unlocks action heresy. I kind of want to take this to try it out. Look how much our religion has like spread, though. It's pretty great. No, that's our that's our influence. If we look at here, oh, our religion's even better. Wow. Population gain. New grievances available. Let's go. You have something to say. You have a different state religion. Demand convert to the empire. <laughs> oh, I like that. Now, uh, we do want to, I think, do this, but we might want to wait a bit. Um, Your empire is an enigma. Same thing here. I I'm tempted to make these demands. Though we don't really have a huge military to back them up. So, if, for example, if we if we come here and we if we look at it and we demand it, Oh, well, they accepted. So they accepted our demand. She didn't say anything about that, but sweet. But they refused that, which is unfortunate. Um, but they are con they did agree to convert, which is great. Can't turn this into a city yet. We're gonna hit an end turn. This will complete. We're gonna get more food here in the capital. We can also now move on to the next era, which is great. And we've moved up to 11 population. So we're, we we got our growth we wanted here. We're not quite up to 14, but we will be next. Look, well, we will be soon. We're gonna to want to build this holy site over here, I think. Oh, let's take one of these guys. Go grab that curiosity. What did we get from it? I don't know what we got from it, but whatever. And now let's go back to our capital. What do we want to work on next? 
Well, part of it is, okay, so we got lucky. The ground was a little bit better, a little wetter, and the people will not forget, but otherwise life is normal again. Cool. Enter a new era. So, okay, we can choose the new era. Let's take a look at the tech tree and where we're at. Because we don't get to the classical till up here. We might want to wait till we kind of advance a bit. Not to mention, we might want to build our unique district here in this new city. So I think we're going to wait. We're going to say remind me later. It almost feels like we've still got the stars a little too quickly. Um, I don't know. How, I don't know how. It's going to be hard to try and pair it with your science, right, and that kind of thing. But with that in mind, I kind of want to build this here. And then we can build the canal district right off of it, probably there or here. Right? Plus four, plus four, yeah. That'll be done in three turns. And ideally, then we can maybe make a maker's quarter right here and over here. All right, so now our religion is dominant there. Perfect. A carcass of riches. Wild animals in the forest around Harappa have always been hunted for their meat. But now an inventor in the city believes the carcasses can be put to other uses too. They believe the carcasses can be harvested for their military, decorative, or substance applications. How should the bodies be used? Interesting. Militarized patriotic, so we'll get modified land unit cost. Okay, so we can build units faster. That's interesting. Um, we'd want to switch for 10 turns to build units, which is debatable. That's good. Prosperous, we get plus five money. Bountiful, plus five food, giving us faster growth. I think we're going to take the barter. Since we're not going to be building units yet. But the gold sounds nice. Especially that we could kind of buy this out. Or save it so we can maybe buy a couple things faster here in just a few turns. Maybe that, yeah, let's try that. Beautiful. So now we have bronze working. We've unlocked spearmen, the forge, and garrison. I wonder if you can still build off garrisons. Fishing would be good. Let's take masonry and then fishing. End our turn. We complete this little. We've earned another agrarian star. Very nice. What do they yes, look? What do they greetings. want? I hope you don't mind if I stare. So they have some things we don't. They have gemstones. And they have a. No, we have obsidian and we have marble. So we could buy the gemstones. It costs us 225. What do we really get from it, though? Like. Happiness, right? Stability? I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, that should hopefully be defined better in the in the full game. Let me know in the comments if you know exactly what buying this will do for us. But for now, I'm going to hold on to our gold. Now that we've completed that, our stability is still solid. I kind of want to maybe get this. This is going to be a plus four. Yeah, I think we do that. that canal district done we're gonna want to probably get city defenses up eventually there's a lot of things we want to do this needs to be a city soon okay now where do we want our city here or here either one of these could turn into 10 turns 20 25 turns Ugh. I think that alone means we're picking the 10 turn one That's because the production here is too low. We turn this into a city, though. It's, it's better. It's on the border. And then we can attach this anyways. All right, so we have another civic boat. I was they are aggressive. You. Now I'm only very angry. He said livid and not only very angry. Nice. Too bad you can't, like, denounce people, right? Agrarian affinity or number to use one of your agrarian special actions. What?
Okay, well, that's cool. Is this a city yet? Next turn. Okay, so we want to use this next turn. Oh, cool. Land of Plenty attracts a single population from every adjacent foreign territory to the selected city. I like that. We're going to do that next turn once this becomes a city. It's the classical. And there's no stability here. That's a problem. Wait, that's not right. It's got 100%. That's just, that must be some bug. So do we want three or we could get four for this city? I can't do it there because it's not touching. But here, we can take population from all of the enemies and bring them in. I love that. He immediately jumped up to six. That is so good. That took forever, though, 36 turns to use it. I'm glad we didn't just go to the next era because now that we've used it, it makes more sense to do so. And this also... So where's the best place for this? Plus four, and then here to be next to it. Yeah, the, sometimes the tooltips are not ideally located. I kind of want one of these like way over here, right? I want a holy site. I want a lot of things in this city. Plus six, though, is pretty solid. We're going to take that. We're losing food, though. So our food income is pretty low. I think we're gonna buy these and then that way we can grab this and then after we finish this we'll move to the next era what is this plus four right there is best I think we're gonna attach this as well Once we complete the canal network, we're going to want to snag that. That puts us in a really, really good spot. A game of prophecy. Okay, so this is the thing where we can bet. We can silence everyone, pay 80 gold. Don't, maybe we have the gold. Defiant, minus 5 stability, minus 2 science. I don't really want to lose stability or science. We're going to pay the gold, unfortunately. Now we're going to end our turn. All right, so now we kind of need to get to the next era, I think. We need to complete this first. And then we'll, then we'll go in. We, need, we have to do one more turn. Very stable here. I think we're going to want to grab either one of these or maybe a Maker's Quarter. Plus 17 sounds pretty solid, so I think we'll try that. We're going to want to change away from city growth in a, probably when we move to the next era. Okay, so now we can pay this out. And the reason we do that is so that now we can move to the next era. And we need to decide. So a Carthinian gen sounds really, really tempting. We get the Cawthon, which is going to give us plus three industrial per adjacent coastal water. It's going to give us production. And, and we get war elephants. That sounds really fun. The Celts tried them last time, uh, last opening. That's really fun. The Goths for militarist. Um, plus three influence, plus three faith, minus ten stability. The influence isn't that good right now. Like, we kind of used a, a bunch of it. The Huns make more sense. Automatically upgrades regular outpost cannot be attached to cities. 
Plus three combat strength on cavalry. So we could get the Huns and go kind of a cavalry attack. The Mayan builders are just phenomenal. Ooh, the Romans. Get Praetorian guards. The archers will give us stability and influence. Stability will be good. And we get a big, we can get bigger armies. The Greeks have been claimed. We don't want to keep these guys. I think I'm leaning towards either the Carthinian gens to kind of go for gold and stuff, but because we're leaning towards war right now, and we're going to make some demands, focus on some military, I, I either want to go... The Maya's tempting, because then we, we spend this era kind of getting our, our production up, and so that the next era we kind of get ready for war. Um, and we can either go to war on land or sea. Now these guys would be nice, because then we can maybe get some fleets going. Replaces the harbor, for adjacent lake, three inches on coastal water, plus minus sensibility, Gives us a district fortification, that's cool. And that means we can buy out a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know how they really give us a bunch of gold, though. They would give us war elephants. We need two copper, though. That's something to keep in mind. We don't have, like, any copper. We only have the one horses. These guys are great for defense, but not great for attacking. Plus three industry per number of territories. Gives us a lot of good industry, that's for sure. If you want to go tar, I, I think we kind of want, almost want to, uh, to expand. Uh, can instantly purchase adjacent outposts or attached territories generates a diplomatic grievance for your opponent. I kind of want to try the Romans. We can kind of go towards a land military and then go towards sea later. Oh, look at that. That looks dope. Confirm. Let's watch this sweet video where all of the uh it must be at the end of the turn into we're gonna see all of our like cultural buildings change new civic leadership okay so i don't think we have we do have one point okay how do we lead small council plus one city cap autark the absolute leader for rome so we're taking that for sure let's end turn as urban centers grow both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences flourish as military tactics and mathematical equations become as coveted as physical goods. Empires struggled to control these intangibles, however, as some might trouble. This is going to be us right there attacking. It's going to be glorious. Ooh, here we go. These are little Roman buildings. Maker's quarter going up. I would love to go to Rome. New era. We already have four. No, we have none of the five stars. So, expansionist. Own nine territories attached oops, to any city, including the city's territory. Current value four. Cool. Now, we completed this, which is great. We kind of want to grab this. It's going to give us stability, which this city kind of needs. Um, we'd like to get this. It gives us stability and influence. There's a lot of things this city would like to get, to be honest. The Holy Site's tempting. This city could help um, with that. Uh, now that we're in the next era, I think we're going to want to go towards... Production and gold. Must not. Oh, we need maybe makers quarters at maxes out at three. And I think kind of the same thing here. Now, um, I don't want to focus a bit on industry. This would also be really good. Giving us more stability. And we're going to need troops. However, we also need to get to where we can make our legionnaires. I think they're pretty far down the line. Because swordsmen are down here. They're way up here. So we're, we're a ways away. So we kind of need to do some things to get there. We're going to want to get some technical stuff. Which means after... 
after we get fishing, we want to go towards this, I believe, which gets us towards philosophy. So we get our science boosted a bit. With that in mind, we're going to go ahead and build this after. I think we're going to build it just kind of over here, middle of nowhere, kind of out of the way. And this city can help work on that soon. Let's actually just pay this out. Now that'll be done in five turns, which is great. We're going to end turn. Fishing researched. Beautiful. We can get a harbor now if we would, if we want. And turn again. Oh, they chose the Huns. Cool. We have another civic point. Plus an industry on commons quarter. Plus one bonus population per ransack. Oh, that's that's good. So when you ransack, you get population from it. Plus energy on commons quarter. We don't have like, any commons quarters yet. Stability would be nice. We're kind of not, we're kind of using that. It spends money in order to increase stability. Modify religious district industry cost. Religious district cost by 10%. It's not bad, we're, we're, but I think I'll take... This sounds like it could be good later. It's not good yet, but it might be might help us out. The reason I said close is because we already know details. We don't have our civic point anymore. New wonder. Oh, beautiful. So we have the influence now. So which wonder would we like to claim? They already got the... Ingard's Babylon. Oh, we didn't claim one of these old ones. We didn't get enough of the uh, stuff. So Temple of Artemis is going to give us faith and stability, plus 10 health genera regeneration on unit, plus 100 fame. Stonehenge uh, is going to give us food, stability, 20 stability, modify district industry cost by 25%. That's pretty good. Statue of Zeus, alliances. Oh, this will give us Plus 1% science per district. That's pretty solid. A milit militia are not lost over time during sieges. Wow, that's great for a defensive type of wonder. Uh, naval stuff. So basically, I think we're, uh, we're not going to get too many alliances. Mausoleum sounds really interesting. The pyramids sound just phenomenal overall. Temple of Artemis kind of makes sense. We are Rome. I guess this is kind of, isn't the Temple of Artemis Greek? Yeah, it should be. Hmm. Ignore movement penalties from forest. That sounds really good. I think we're going to take that. And then once we complete this, I think we're going to want to build that in the capital. Uh, interesting. That has to be in certain places. I wonder if you work the tiles around it. Because if you do, I kind of want to like somewhere like right here. Okay. Um, we get another tenant. Nice. Let's take tier... Th so we get a tier three. Plus one science per state religion follower. Let's take... Develop the intellect. Let's get our science boosted. Go towards philosophy now. Our science is cranking up, by the way. We sold resources. Benefits from proximity to others. Okay, I guess it just takes us to our capital there. Now we're working on the Temple of Artemis. We're going to focus on some of these like the main things, and then as soon as we get our legionnaires, we're going to start uh, start. Specifically converting a foreign outpost or attached territory and grant you control. We'll take several turns. So if we take this military, it'll cost 900 gold. I guess we're getting gold pretty quickly, but maybe we can attach this. That's a city, though. That's their capital, so we might have to move over here. Maybe we could attach this. Oh, yeah, let's do that. 
Oh yeah, that would be great. We want to attach this. Look at all these resources. It'll be epic. Okay, so legitimacy. Apply celebrate on new cities. So what is this event? Civics osmosis. What? Um, customary laws. Is it just trying to choose one for us or something? I think our neighbors all have it, so we're gonna take that. Or something. Oh wait, why do you start building the wonder already? Yeah, let's let's pump that out. We could even finish the wonder very quickly by using population, which is tempting because we're growing relatively quickly. We have a decent amount of food. All right, so this is now a city, which is great. We can attach this for 130, which we do not have. For 500, we can start doing that. Now, we could help some of this stuff. We kind of need... Plus 18 food and some science. We're going to do that. The harbor is just too good, it looks like. I didn't even pay it out, but we're going to use that gold and maybe steal this, so. All right, the, the priest of nature. The large number of farming districts has led to blossoming of knowledge of plants for health, sustenance, and medicine. With the empire at peace, the empire, and stable enough to support such a move, never before has there been a better time to make, a, to make official the status of your most learned brothers and sisters. Do you wish to found such a case? Reject. Plus one combat strength for 10 turns. We're not at war, so it's not that good to establish. Plus 10 food for 10 turns. That's We're going to take that. The other one will be, would be great if we were ready for war, but we're not quite ready for war. We're trying to get ready for war. Okay, so now uh, we've completed the holy site. I think we want to do another one up here. We haven't attached this yet. Let's attach it. Now let's build this. Some more super cool, like, yeah, like right there. Yeah, let's build it right. I don't know. Both of those are pretty good tiles. These tiles aren't, aren't near as good, to be honest. Now we're actually going to go back to the harbor. And now we're going to take our this city here. And we'll have it work on the holy site, I believe. We have... There's a lot of things we'd like to get, to be honest. There's so many. I'm gonna take the lumber yard here. I'm so tempted just to pump out a bunch of a bunch of population here. Not sure how that will affect things though, but I mean four pop, we grow in four in like a turn. I'm gonna try it. Got some fame, we completed the wonder. Looks great. I think we're getting, yeah, so we do work the tiles around and we're getting phenomenal yields now. It's totally worth it. We're gonna grow in another turn or two. We'll build this in two turns, we're good. All right, so now if we grab this unit. Cannot be, so start with Pat, so we're converting a foreign outpost or attached territory in green. So maybe we need to move. Okay, so we need open borders maybe? Why are you here? The world is full of new Four, That was 400 gold? I did not read. I just said yes. Now it costs 900, okay. So maybe it costs 900, so we're, we're gonna need more gold. This is what that means, essentially. We can now start getting research quarters, and we get a 
administrator, which increases our city cap. Interesting. So we can have more cities. Now that we have that, though, we kind of want to start going towards the Imperial Power, which comes pretty much from this way. So let's grab Organized Warfare and Standing Army. Plus 10. I want to get a maker's quarter over here. I'd, I'd love also maybe probably get a, uh, a market quarter like right here. To do that though, we're going to probably need to put one of these down. Or maybe a maker's quarter, to be honest. Plus five, plus four. That's actually not bad just to do the triumphant arch right here. Work on standing army. The snake Suspicious. is defanged, but still a snake. What do you want now? <laughs> Doesn't like us. For 200 gold, I would like to actually... Oh, man, I want that. Better. I'm going to refuse for now just because... Oh, what the... Are we at war? We're at peace. Okay, so they attacked me. So we can say... Apparently we can't do anything. Um, their demands, my demands. How do I make the demand? Huh. I don't know. All right, so we're improving production here. Pretty great. I believe we're having issues. Um, of okay. We're still able to, okay, now it's a little better. I can't zoom in and out though for some reason. Um, yeah, we're having issues. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this here and just try and save it before it crashes. So thanks for watching everybody. It's been a really fun episode. Excited to see where it goes and conquer as the Romans. So thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one.